somebody The world is gonna roll me I ain't the sharpest Whoops sorry wrong video Time to start real cat slide special edition of Cats Live. As you can tell from the intro, some of the people on our team are a little obsessed with memes. Well, what do you know? This might just be the best Cats Live yet. With memes? How dare you speak of memes like that? Just for that, I'm gonna make you read all of the announcements. Fine, the only one. Hey graphic novel fans, come check out the new shipment of graphic novels waiting for you at the Western Library. This X-Men, Avengers, and Captain America, Goosebumps and the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, Star Wars, and a new shoujo manga series for girls, Ulster of Edge. You can see there's something for every graphic novel fan. Check it out at your library today. Speaking of fans, and me being a Wildcat fan, I want to go check out what they've been up to. This is where the fun begins. You guys obviously turned everything into memes. I can see that already. Why memes? Out of all the things in this world. Hey, people like memes. Even Miss Williams, head of the history department, likes memes. No way. You're kidding, right? No, I'm serious. One of their projects was making memes. Let's go see some of them. Hi, so in eighth grade U.S. history this year, we were studying the foreign policy of the first five presidents, and we had the students create memes, and everybody knows what a meme is and how funny they are, and the, pre the students were supposed to take the president that they were assigned and find a funny picture that would go with that president and then come up with a meme to represent that, foreign, that president's foreign policy. So I think the students had a good time with this. It was able to connect um, U.S. history with current issues and current content and the students seemed to really enjoy this project and had a good time um, connecting the meme with the president and their foreign policy. And I think my favorite one out of my class periods, which is very difficult to pick because we had a lot of good ones, was the one about John Adams and um, the meme was about the XYZ affair where it said, if I remember correctly, something about being able to bribe and it says makes no sense to me and that goes with the saying, millions for defense, not one cent for tribute. Hey Wester, I'm here with Serana. So what can you tell us about the inside scoop of Art UIL? Well, Art UIL is coming up on May 5th and we're all really excited because there's more than 20 artists' pieces going. And I'm pretty confident that this year, some of us will go to state. So I see that you have some of the projects going to UIL. Can you show us what it is? Yeah, here's my project. So it's it's called a diptych because there's two of them, but they're one project. Sounds pretty cool. Even the teachers have meme fever. This is insane. Face it, you're the only one here who doesn't like memes. I doubt it. There's gotta be someone who agrees with me. Like I said, everybody likes memes. Teachers, students, heck, even the sports teams love memes. And I think they deserve recognition for their hard work and achievements. Memes will only enhance and glorify their hard work. Our Wildcats have been performing amazing feats in track this year. Hey there Wildcats, I'm here with our very own Coach Group. So Coach Group, can you tell us why pole vaulting is the most technical difficult challenge of all of track? Well, um, part of it has to do with the fact that you have to be fast while holding this very long pole and being able to fling yourself over something with some amazing arm strength and really being fearless all at the same time. So really, the, some of our best pole vaulters have been former gymnasts, um, as far as on the female side, as well as even um, some really good tumblers from cheerleading. Sounds like a lot of techniques you need to teach these kids. What inspired you to become a track coach? 
Well, when I was in middle school, one of my favorite coaches, she was just an amazing um, support and was great at motivating. And she was she was our head track coach and kind of made me love the sport even more than I already did. So it was because of her. Well, we're glad you joined us. And you're right about track. We have two new Western record holders, Cage for the 800 and 2400s, and Taya for the hurdles. Yeah, and last night started the district qualifiers that go into next week. More records were challenged, and I bet they'll break some more next week. Yeah, I know they will. Just like I know our Wildcats love memes. Sure they do. Has it ever occurred to you that our Wildcats might actually be normal? They are normal. That's why they like memes. Prove it then. Challenge accepted. Our Wildcats have done a ton of memeable things. They've made memes, built roller coasters, solved breakout boxes, and they even have a Dr. Seuss musical coming up. Let's go take a look. Our Wildcats expanded their brains as they did several breakout boxes this year. Students in algebra reinforced their knowledge of quadratics. Intro to Spanish students became expert geographers. History learned about the War of 1812 and even PE used them to measure health signs like heart rate and calories. 8th grade science classrooms are in 6th gear with their roller coasters. Well the pre-AP students get to create roller coasters and then they use them to analyze Newton's laws of motion. The 8th graders also had a blast when they made some of the dankest memes about the early presidents. Here are a few. Our theater, choir and band have been working on a Dr. Seuss musical. We have obtained exclusive footage of this. Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and... Come on, who's with me, huh? No. I got it! The meme level is 